Welcome, this is Shakti Korola Neverin, your online astrologer, and this is actually the second video I'm making for the Mercury Retrograde, and I did it yesterday, I did it with the green screen technology, and everything went wrong what could go wrong, so Mercury Retrograde really lived up to his name. So um, let's have a closer look at uh, what's happening and how we can uh, use those frequencies in a meaningful way. So the Mercury retrograde started yesterday, September 17, 2015, at 11.09 Pacific Standard Time at 15 degrees Libra. And it's the uh, third cycle this year. And this one will run for 21 days, and then it turns direct again, which will be October 9th, 2015. And it almost goes all the way back to the very beginning of Libra. So 0 degrees 53 minutes, it's going to turn around and go forward again. And that's happening at 7.57 Pacific Standard Time. So the question is, what happens when a planet turns retrograde? And uh, just technically, the planet seems to move backwards, moving backwards through degrees that planet has already been in before. So um, we could say there is a revisiting and deepening of the seam happening. But as you all know, Mercury got a really bad reputation. So we know about the, the thing about missing airplanes, everything connected with electrical equipment and computer and green screen technology isn't working as it's supposed to and it, as it did before. Uh, connections through email, mail, word seem to take more effort than usual. So uh, people have troubles with air flights, missing the plane, leaving late. Uh, suitcases might not arrive. So this kind of stuff we expect from a Mercury retrograde and the poor guy has really gotten a bad reputation because of that. But of course everything in astrology, all the symbols of the planets can be expressed in what we call the low end level of possibilities or higher end possibilities. So um, I would say this dysfunction is more the low end level of possibilities. So, of course, how that Mercury is um, happening and what it is about, will we will get more information about that through the sign it's in. So, Mercury in general is the symbol of the healers, is the official, official messengers of the ancient gods and goddesses, and as such, we say it rules all kinds of communication. So in general, in the chart, Mercury is representing your mind, your perceptions, your ability to learn how you tell your stories, your voice, and uh, also your openness and flexibility. So when Mercury goes back into a sign, it's kind of a second round, another chance to deepen your perception in what that sign represents. So Libra. Libra is a sign of the lovers and the arts. So uh, for the area of relationships, the revisiting the second chance of Mercury has to do with your relationship. Of course, what comes to mind first is your intimate relationship. But also it's about uh, your friendships, how you meet pe people in general. So by revisiting those former degrees Mercury has already moved through, it's another chance to get more honest, honest in your relationship, uh, expressing truthfully what your needs are. I mean, the low end of Libra is to get caught up in uh, too much compromise, becoming the, uh, the doormat for the other. And uh, in Libra, one of the, the evolutionary points to learn is to find that balance, that balance between me and my own needs and the other person out there. 
So here you have another chance. So uh, I believe we all are teachers for each other in relationships. And part of our ability to do that is to learn to express ourselves, to stand up for our needs, to, to communicate them. And there are actually um, some practical suggestions I have for you for this specific Mercury retrograde because of that. So there are uh, programs out there which help you to learn how to communicate better, especially in the intimate relationships. So uh, it's called nonviolent communication or uh, compassionate communication. And there you do this role play and you learn how to express your needs and your point of perspective, your point of view in a way that the other person really can hear it. And I would say that's a very valuable skill to have. So as a practical suggestion, I would say this is one way to write this specific Mercury. Go out to a weekend seminar, watch some videos on YouTube about nonviolent or compassionate communication. So in general, I would say you want to pay a little more attention, conscious attention to the way you communicate and uh, how you show up for yourself in the coming 21 days. The other area the Libra is concerned with is the area of beauty and the arts and uh, our aesthetic senses. So this would be a time where you feel drawn to maybe repaint your, your living room or uh, make your garden more beautiful or buy a painting or enlist into an art class or sit more with your guitar and play, these kinds of things. So it's really about the beauty of uh, the heart in your communications and in the way you relate and in your relationship to yourself. So as a Taurus, I always try to come to some practical applications with uh, the astrology teachings. And uh, I hope you're going to play around with it and see if offering the god Mercury a higher uh, way of uh, manifestation in your life, if that will help not to experience a low insight. Thank you for coming and visiting. I hope uh, you get something out of this. I uh, didn't do a PowerPoint presentation this time, and this is actually the second or third trial to do this video. So I played with a, a different background, and so it's all part of the transit. So if you haven't done so, you might want to sign up for the subscription so I can keep you on the, uh, in the loop. Or you can go to my website, Maui Astrology Reading, and sign up for my newsletter there. There you will also get access to what I call the Love Stone, which is very appropriate for this month to find out which gemstone or crystal supports you in, in your heart and in that way of perceiving the world from your heart, from a loving perspective. So you will get uh, for free that access to your uh, report for your love stone based on your Venus in your chart, and you get your free chart. So whenever you are looking into different transits, it always becomes more powerful if that transit happens in a specific area in your chart. So for that, it's really good to learn about astrology and to know your chart and where your planets are. And part of my intention was doing these forecast readings is to teach you a little more about astrology and that very helpful wisdom perspective into the world. So again, thanks for coming. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please do like it down there. That's helpful with the ranking. And come visit me on my website. And uh, I send you aloha, because I'm living on Maui, and this is how we say goodbye. So I hope to see you soon again. Bye.